Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play with 401 Games. Today we are going to show off Potion Explosion, one of my personal favorite releases of this year. And here to try out Potion Explosion is my significant other, Patrick. Hi. All right, so let's get started. Uh, how Potion Explosion works is we are causing chain reactions using marbles to gain marbles to um, finish various potions. And as you can see, these potions have different colors and different slots. So for example, this one needs two blue marbles, two black marbles to complete. Once you complete a potion, you score it, and you can even use it to do some cool stuff. Now, uh, let's talk about the marble little mechanic first. Uh, this is unique. I love, I love the marbles. So how it works is on your turn, you pick a marble to remove and any adjacent colors that smash together that are the same color, you get to keep as well. So you, you see the uh, little black one here, I'm gonna pluck that, and the yellow have now collided together, and since they're all the same color, I get to keep that as well. Leave that back in there. You can also do that to chain a lot. So as long as the colors keep colliding and as long as they're all the same, you can keep chaining the reaction. So let's say I take this blue one here. So I've just connected these two black ones. I take the two black ones and look, I now get all this yellow here as well. Fantastic. Now you can also pick something from the middle of a string of the same color. So for example, I have three blues here. Let's assume I didn't have any other moves. I could take the middle blue and the two blues collide. So that technically still counts as an explosion or collision. All right, so I'm just gonna grab a handful of this and reset. So now let's explain a bit about the other components here we see on the table. We can also opt to take help from the professor on of our turn. And so we'll take one of these and you get to take a marble of your choice from the board and put it onto your potion. Although this does not count towards explosion. So even if I were to take this yellow one and have all the red ones collide, I don't actually get that because I took help from the professor. Um, we also have the four ribbons here. These are the achievement ribbons, and this also signifies the end of the game when someone takes the last achievement. So how you earn achievements is by impressing the professor, by either completing three potions of the same type. So for example, I've got three of the, uh, I'm going to call it the brain potion, or if you complete five different types of potions, so five different ones. And uh, you can only complete that one once. Whoever takes the last ribbon ends the game. And then after that, we tally up our points based off of like how much each potion is worth and uh, how much help you took from the professor. Well, mine is how much help you took from the professor. They pe apparently penalize you for, you know, getting help going to office hours. But anyways, let's start off with our um, little potion laboratory here. Uh, we get to pick our starting potions, as you can see down here. Um, who wants to go first? I guess since I have the first player token, should I go first? Sure. All right. I'm going to pick the, the black potion. So as second player and technically last player, I get to pick two potions at once. Okay, so I'll get this one automatically. Okie dokie. I'm gonna grab this red one up here and I've just chained all this black. So I get the dark marbles. Dark like my soul. And you'll, I have a little mini beaker on this side and that allows me to store my extra marbles up to three marbles. Okay, your turn. Okay, uh, I am going to take this blue one and take all of these red ones. 
We didn't do a very good job shuffling these. They were fine until you... <laughs> I know, until <laughs> I had to show them how the marbles okay. worked. Well, it's your turn now. It is my turn. I'm gonna grab the middle blue one here. So now that changed this blue, and I also get this black, even though I don't really need it. But hey, whatever. Oh, 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 I'm failing. So I have now just completed one of my potions and I get to put all the marbles away and I flip that over. Now I have an extra marble here. I can only have three marbles, so I'm gonna have to decide to keep or discard it. I have enough black, so I think I'll put that away. I'm gonna take help from the professor. So I'll take my minus two, but I will take this black one out. No explosion caused. But then I will take this blue one which gives me all these reds and also these blues. Oh. And with these blues, I finished my potions, both of them. Good job. I put all this back. And I have this handful of reds left over and I will put all of those back as well. All right, flip over and pick some new ones. Yeah, so I got two of these, so what do I want? I think I'm gonna go for this one and this one. Okay, your turn. All right, I'm gonna take the middle yellow here. So I get all this yellow Ooh. and apparently all this black. I'm just, wow, swimming in black and yellow marbles. So most definitely we'll use up the two that I have in storage. I didn't really need all this black marbles, but hey, take what you can get. And um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I finished this marble, this, uh, sorry, this potion here. Flip that over and that is worth eight points. And I'm gonna pick something new, something new. Take this black one here so I get all the blues. And I'm gonna start drinking some potions. All right, so I'm gonna take the green potion. This allows me to take two or more adjacent marbles of the same color on the same track. So I'm gonna use that to grab all this yellow. And that completes my two potions here. And that is also three of each of these potions. So, I mean, I grabbed the last ribbon, which means now the game's over. Well, not quite, because no? you're first player, so I still get my turn. Oh, true, all right, well then. For my first move, I'm gonna take one from different colors uh, in the bottom row. So, let's do... this one. This one, and this one. Okay. I'm going to discard the blacks from this track. Okay. And then I'm going to get help from the professor. Or no, I'm going to- Use your purple potion. Use my purple potion. And I am going to take 
this Put here. Okay, so for my move, I'm going to so close. I could probably figure out a better thing, but take this one. Take these colors. These, these, this, this. And then I'm going to get help from the professor. Ooh. And I will finish off this potion. Oh, and since I finished this potion, I can use it right away. Oh, come on. And there, I finished both my potions. You got lucky. <laughs> it's okay. I had to have less help from the professor. And that's the game. Now we add up the scores. I have 60 points. And I have 79 points. Oh man, I tried to hustle you at the end, but my potions were just worth less. Yeah, I find it's very good strategy in this game to go for the bigger potions. Yeah, anyways, that was really cool game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. What did you think of that as a two-player game? Uh, I like it a lot. It's very quick as a two-player game. Uh, so your turn comes around pretty fast and you can think a couple moves ahead as well because you don't have to worry too much about your opponent messing up the board too, too much with what they're gonna take. Or you can also, you can also think about what you need to do to stop your opponent from uh, collecting what they need. So it's a very good game for two players. Yeah, all right, well, great. Thank you so much for joining me to play Potion Explosion, Patrick. And thank you guys as well for watching as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep making Let's Plays. Bye now.